I'm so proud of him because he never gave up. His legs were deceiving him. Anthony Joshua's legacies in boxing might have just crumbled as Daniel Dubois delivered a jaw-dropping shocker that no one saw coming in their all-Brit showdown. Dubois didn't just beat Joshua. He annihilated him, knocking him down three times before delivering the final career-shattering blow. It was a brutal masterclass from Dubois, leaving fans stunned and questioning Joshua's future. But with this dominant victory, you have to wonder, has Dubois truly hit his prime, or could he be setting himself up for the same fall from grace that Joshua just experienced? Dubois answered those questions with a bombshell that left everyone speechless. Daniel Dubois dismantled fellow Brit Anthony Joshua in just five rounds, propelling himself to global stardom in front of 96,000 fans at Wembley Stadium. At 27, Dubois dominated the fight, knocking Joshua down multiple times to retain the IBF heavyweight title, leaving Joshua's career in shambles. This was the biggest win of Dubois' 24-fight career, and he did it in stunning fashion with a powerful counter-right hook that stopped Joshua, now 34, dead in his tracks. After the fight, Dubois proudly declared his warrior spirit and his determination to reach the pinnacle of the sport, vowing to fulfill his potential. Dubois' victory marked a turning point, solidifying his status as one of the top contenders in boxing today. On the other hand, Joshua's attempt to reclaim the heavyweight crown and become a three-time world champion ended in shocking fashion. This defeat marked his fourth loss in 32 bouts, and though he hinted at a possible return to the ring with a rematch clause that could give him another shot at Dubois, his future remains uncertain. Dubois, now basking in the glory of his career-defining win, revealed something no one expected he hinted at retirement, even suggesting he'd rather face Alexander Usyk again or call it quits. This bombshell left everyone in disbelief. Dubois is only 27 and just hit his prime. Even Jing Zhong, another rising star, has challenged him after the victory but Dubois seemed more interested in a potential Usyk rematch if the Ukrainian defeats Tyson Fury in their highly anticipated fight this December. The tension around what's next for Dubois is palpable, and fans are eager to see if he'll truly step away from the ring or continue his rise to greatness. Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher fired up the crowd with a musical performance before the main event, but it was Dubois who truly rocked Wembley Stadium with his performance. Despite being the title holder, Dubois broke tradition by walking to the ring first, greeted by jeers as fireworks lit up the iconic stadium. The crowd's energy was electric as Joshua, the fan favorite, made his entrance to a medley that started with Asterix the Godfather Asterix theme and ended with Asterix War Asterix from Asterix Rocky IV Asterix. With only four of their combined 49 wins having gone the distance, an early knockdown was expected and it came in the first round when Dubois connected with a crushing overhand right that sent Joshua crashing to the canvas. The crowd was stunned. Joshua, still dazed, barely recovered in the second round as Dubois relentlessly pursued him, landing stiff, punishing jabs. The memory of those sporing sessions where Dubois reportedly rocked Joshua years ago seemed to linger in Joshua's mind, affecting his performance. By the third round, the 2012 Olympic gold medalist was reeling. Dubois landed a brutal left hook, forcing Joshua to touch the canvas with his glove, though it wasn't officially counted as a knockdown. Still, the onslaught continued. Joshua was floored again, knocked down twice more in the third round, though one was ruled a slip. At this point, the writing was on the wall. Ringside, unified champion Usyk and Tyson Fury, set to face off in December, watched in disbelief as Joshua's career spiraled out of control. The once deafening chants of AJ, AJ from the crowd had fallen silent. The fourth round offered a brief glimmer of hope for Joshua when he landed a clean punch. But rather than turning the tide, the blow only seemed to ignite Du Bois further. A devastating counter right hand one that will forever be remembered sent Joshua down for the final time. The former face of British boxing scrambled on the floor, desperately trying to rise, but this time he couldn't beat the count. In the aftermath of one of the biggest upsets in British boxing history, the future of Anthony Joshua is in question. Even though he hinted that he may continue fighting, many are wondering if this is the end of the road for the once dominant heavyweight. 
Since his back-to-back -back losses to Usyk in 2022, Joshua's comeback had seemed to be on track. He was driven by the ambition to join legends like Muhammad Ali, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, and Vitaly Klitschko as a three-time heavyweight champion. But facing a fearless young fighter like Du Bois, who was determined to make his mark, proved to be a far greater challenge than expected. Joshua admitted to making mistakes in the fight, acknowledging Du Bois' speed and sharpness. But this defeat wasn't just about physical prowess, it also delivered a blow to the long-anticipated superfight with Tyson Fury. Even if Fury loses his rematch with Usyk in December, a potential showdown with Joshua may have lost its appeal after this stunning defeat. On the flip side, Du Bois's future has never looked brighter, with his father Stan in his corner, just as he was during key moments against Gerald Miller and Philip Hergovich. Du Bois had all the support he needed for this night. Despite being no stranger to high-stakes fights, nothing could have prepared him for this moment. It's been four years since his loss to fellow Brit Joe Joyce, a fight where he suffered a fractured eye socket and was harshly labeled a quitter after taking a knee. But on this night, Du Bois silenced the critics, embraced the spotlight, and delivered a career-defining performance. Du Bois's victory marks a new chapter in heavyweight boxing. After enduring the highs and lows of his career, Du Bois finally sees this as his time a moment of redemption and dominance. From the opening bell, Du Bois set the tone with his jab, forcing Joshua into a defensive posture. Joshua tried to box from the outside, landing a few counters, but it was Du Bois who connected with the cleaner shots. A powerful overhand right in the closing seconds of the first round dropped Joshua, establishing an early lead for the younger fighter. Du Bois continued to apply relentless pressure, and Joshua's jab did little to slow him down. By the third round, Du Bois had Joshua visibly hurt, dropping him again with a combination that left Joshua scrambling. Though Joshua survived the round, Du Bois' dominance was clear, reflected in a 30-25 score after three rounds. Joshua's attempts to mount any offense were met with a barrage of power shots, particularly in the fourth round where Du Bois scored yet another knockdown. The fifth round saw Joshua briefly finding some success, landing a few solid punches, but it was short-lived. Du Bois quickly counted with a devastating right hand that sent Joshua crashing to the canvas for the final time. Unable to beat the count, the referee waved it off, sealing a commanding victory for Du Bois. The scorecards reflected Du Bois's total control of the fight, cementing his place as one of the top heavyweights in the world. So what's next for Du Bois? His performance against Joshua was nothing short of spectacular, and if he can continue to build on this momentum, he could be well on his way to becoming one of the greatest heavyweights of his era. A potential rematch with Alexander Usyk could elevate Du Bois to even greater heights. Usyk, regarded as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, has dominated both the cruiserweight and heavyweight divisions with his technical prowess. Defeating Usyk would not only solidify Du Bois' status as a legitimate threat, but it would also prove that he's more than just a powerful puncher. It would show that he has the skill, intelligence, and resilience to take on the best. If Du Bois can defeat Usyk, the door will be wide open for even bigger fights, including a unification bout with Tyson Fury or other top contenders like Deontay Wilder. But to truly achieve greatness, Du Bois will need to maintain this level of performance consistently. Beating Usyk would be an incredible achievement, but greatness requires longevity. If Du Bois can continue to dominate the heavyweight division and defeat multiple elite opponents, his name could be mentioned alongside the all-time greats like Muhammad Ali and Lennox Lewis.